years, and one of my fields of study is interreligious dialogue. Ecumenism, as we all know it, the study of different faith beliefs, different religions around the world. Pope Francis, our spiritual aid, released a document, La Dauda Si. The planet is our common home. All denominations around the world were asked to give their opinion about the state of the planet. Because all world religions practice their faith on this planet. And all religions are affected by global warming. As religious and through ecumenism and interreligious dialogue, we have a common home. How are we protecting our common home? And Pope Francis has asked all the religions of the world, how can we work together in protecting our common home? Because we are all from the soil of this planet. And we have a moral, religious responsibility of protecting the environment. Interreligious dialogue has as its purpose unity. And we can only achieve unity if we respect each other because we all possess inherent dignity. Dignity that God has given us, the divine has given us. We all possess dignity in this world because we are God's creatures, image and likeness. We walk the earth, we are given talents, we are given charisms to build up this planet. We cannot do it on our own. We need religions and religious leaders to come together, you and me, to build up interreligious dialogue, respect, justice, peace, reconciliation. We are all under the Constitution of South Africa. But our faith determines our spirituality. And we are all at different levels of our spiritual formation. An eight-year-old, a 20-year-old, a 50-year-old, a 70-year-old, we have different spiritual outlooks and world views. But the common that binds us together is prayer. All religions pray to the divine. All go to their house of prayers, their religious houses, to pray to the divine for inspiration. And once we can respect our diversity, diversity in unity, we can bring peace. Because as the great philosophers of the world points out, we are human, we are rational, we can distinguish between good and bad, what's right and wrong. Therefore, we can communicate. We can dialogue about current situations. And therefore, my input today is that we become more 
open to the divine in our lives. That we become more prayerful. Because each religion strives to be holy, to do good. And we have a common home, this planet Earth. And that is the message of my spiritual leader, Pope Francis, that we all work together in protecting this common home, which we call planet. As I understood correctly, tomorrow it will be 42 degrees in Oldsworthen, a typical sign of global warming affecting all religions, all of us. We have a moral and ethical obligation to practice our faith beliefs in a multicultural society without offending anyone but to build the common home of the planet so that all of us can live in peace, in unity, in love and in reconciliation. I want to conclude. I studied under Father Bonaventure Hinwood and interreligious dialogue, or ecumenism as we know it, is a four-year course. And he always reminded us Whenever you go to a meeting, an interreligious dialogue meeting, the first is to respect other cultures. From respect will come love. From respect will come dialogue. And he always pointed out, try to find the common good that is there. And he concluded by saying, it's prayer. It's prayer that unites us this afternoon in the school. It's prayer because we all want to be holy. Thank you.